what you wear represents who you are. That's you right. see what I'm saying? If, say for instance a prostitute, right? How can I tell a sister is a prostitute? How can you tell? Huh? The way she dress, meaning the way she carries herself. It's no difference from how I can tell a cop is a cop. He's dressed in a police uniform. That's how I know he's in order with who he is. So with what the officer was bringing out about how you dress, how it's very important because you're representing yourself. Listen to this. Sis. This is the book of First Timothy chapter two, verse nine. Bring it out. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So he's giving you strict orders on how you're supposed to adorn yourself being put on. Modest apparel. You know what modest means, sis? You don't know? Okay, it's okay. We can pull up the definition. Somebody can pull up modest for the system. Uh, we can go in to explain what exactly that word means and why he's telling you to adorn yourself in modest apparel. Okay. Modest. Unassuming or moderate in the estimation of one's abilities or achievements. Low key, bashful, reserved, quiet, fearful. So if you listen to some of the synonyms of it saying that it's modest, you're low key. You're not, a, you know, adjoining yourself in something that's just loud. That brothers are going to be paying attention to you because if you show the shape of your body, to say first you walking down the street, what are brothers going to look at if you got your butt out? They're going to look at your butt. And then how are they going to act towards you like you're a prostitute? Oh, that's just somebody I sleep with in this car. What you got? Of a woman dressing or behaving so as to avoid impropriety of indecency, especially to avoid attracting sexual attention. You see that? Uh, not attracting sexual attention. That's the point of wearing modest clothing. Because if you attract sexual attention from just wearing something that's loose, what are you going to get? A dog. Right. You see what I'm saying? You're going to get a brother that's going to have a baby by you, going to hit you, throw you the deuces, and you get pregnant and say, hey, that's his baby, he's going to say it ain't mine. Right. That's what's happening in our community. Our sisters are out of order with the way that they're dressing. So right. are our brothers with their butts out. So what we're doing is trying to show you the correct way. Because right. we don't want you to be a baby mama. Right. We right. want you to be a wife. That's right. Right. We want somebody to love on you, to love your children, y'all have a happy home. You see what I'm saying? So y'all can go forth for generation after generation after generation. Bring it bringing up. forth families. That's what we need in this community. That's, That's right. right. You live around here, you know how many baby mamas we got. How many single parents do we have in this neighborhood? That's why our communities are all out of order. That's you right. You see what I'm saying? Our communities are out of order. Just something simple as just how you carry yourself and how you dress. Right. You're a princess. You're God's chosen people. That's what right. that be 76. Bring it You're God's up. chosen people. You cannot walk around with your butt hanging out, sis. That's right. It's just like our brothers. We're going to tell them the same. You cannot walk around like that. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. This is why. For thou art an holy people. You know what holy means, sis? Holy means separate. Set apart from everybody else. God said that we, the people on this side right here, the Israelites, are what? For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people. See, we're supposed to be special. Special meaning we can't dress like everybody dressed. Right. You see all these brothers up here, are we dressed like everybody else is dressed? No, because we reading these scriptures and we understand that we are a chosen people. Right. That we have to conduct ourselves in a different manner. Right. Not only are we supposed to be wearing modest apparel, so uh, we're supposed to put fringes on our borders. Right. Give me that in numbers uh, real quick. Let me show you the importance of fringes. Show you how it's important. Read what you got. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Get up. Speak unto the children of Israel. Hold on, it says, speak unto the children of Israel. Which tribe you from? Come on over here and look at this sign and tell me what tribe you from. Where you see yourself on there? Your daddy was Mexican? So he's from the tribe of, what they say? It's a car. That's right. That's what tribe you from. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. And this is for you. Read what you got. 
This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel uh -huh. and bid them that they make them fringes and the borders of their garments. So not only are you supposed to have on the modest apparel, you're supposed to have fringes on the borders of your garment. This is fringes. You see all these brothers up here, all around you, we got fringes on the borders of our garment. Read. Throughout their generations, uh -huh. and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. As you can see, all of us, we got different colors of blue, but we got on blue borders on top of our fringes. That's right. Read on. And it shall be unto you for a fringe. So this is the point of the fringe. That ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and, and do them. So the point of us having these on as a special people is to remember the commandments and do them. Because where have we got it not keeping the commandments? Look around. Right in the ghetto in the slum, standing in the midst of trash. Right. You see what I'm saying? With baby mama, baby daddy dr uh, drama. Our old heads out here drunk. It ain't even one o'clock in the evening yet. Smoking weed. You got Chinese people here selling you other nations of people hair that you put, that you was finna go buy. Right. You finna go buy another person's hair and put it on top of your head. Bring it up. Bring it up. You see how destroyed we are by not keeping the commandments? Right. Since you got beautiful hair on top of your head, you don't right. think about nobody right. else's hair. Right. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Because you are a special what? A special people. Read that again in Deuteronomy right. 76. I really want you to believe this, sis. Get this in your head and believe it. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Uh -huh. Read it up. Thou art an holy people uh -huh. unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people Where? unto himself. Uh -huh. Above all people. Where? Above all people. Above all people, including those people's hair that you was going to go buy and put on your head to lower yourself. Because right. if we above all people, what is he saying the other nations are? He looking at them as under us. That's right. You right. see how destroyed we are because of slavery? Right. You want to lower yourself down to the other nations and dress like they dress, put on their hair, when God is saying that you are supposed to be above them. That's right. That's right. You see what I'm saying? That's why it's important, sis, that you wear the modest apparel, that you don't eat catfish, shrimp, and all that other garbage that y'all been out here eating, right. and that you don't smoke, because do you smoke? Bring I, it out! Yeah, yeah, come on. Hey, that was, that was, that was hard what the uh, officer was telling you. But do you believe that you're above our people? Do you believe that? See, we got to build on our sister's self-esteem. You know yes. what I mean? Right. And we got, we gonna, we gonna tell you what God think about you. Give me Psalms 50 and two. Bring it out. All right. Because you are above all nations of people, sis. That's right. You the greatest thing walking on this earth. Watch what God call you. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 50, verse two. Out of Zion. Zion is Jerusalem. He said, out of my people. The perfection of beauty. What is she? The perfection of beauty. God say, you the perfection of beauty. That's right. Out of Zion, out of his people, he said, I made you from the dust of the ground, and I put that woolly hair on your head. I made you the perfection of beauty because you created in my image. Right. That's what God looked like. That's what Jesus looked like. See that image on the end? See that man with that woolly hair? See that? He ain't got no Kool-Aid in his head. He ain't got no blood in his head. On the end, he got white woolly hair. And his skin looked like it was burning in the furnace. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing better than that. Ain't nothing like that dark chocolate. That's right. You know what I'm saying? What did God say? She is out of Zion. The perfection of beauty, uh -huh. God has shined. Uh -huh. Our God shall come and shall not keep silence. Uh -huh. A flower shall devour before him, and it shall be very temp temptuous round about him. He's, he's jealous of what these nations have done to you. You going in there following after them, want to get some dog hair, some blood hair, and put on your head. Instead of want to be like him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Says you're the perfection of beauty. This what give me Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 56. Get out. This is what this is the condition that you are supposed to be in. Cause right now we gotta, you know, Uber, catch a bus, walk, bum a ride. You know what I'm saying? Go get a tote the note. We gotta get all these things. But this is what God wants for you, right? 
This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 56. The tender and delicate women among you, our sisters, the tender and delicate women among us, what? Which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground. Your feet ain't even gonna be touching the ground. You both have servants carrying you around. Right, right. That's what's gonna happen when we come back and keep God's commandments. That's right, right. You know what I'm saying? You the most beautiful thing on this earth, and you supposed to have servants. Right. Huh? Like That's fine if you wanted to, but if you didn't want to walk, you just snap your finger and say, get that thing done. I need them grapes too while I'm rolling. Bring it out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I need you hanging the grapes off my head while I'm while we strolling through the through the uh through my uh city. Right. You know what I'm saying? While y'all toting me around. Right. Instead of calling me a nigga. That's you understand? Right. That's, that's supposed to be your role, sis. Watch how our foremothers got that. Give me Judah 10, 18. Get out. Watch how our foremothers, your, your foremothers, watch how they got that. You ready? Get out. This is the book of Judah, chapter 10, verse 18. Get out. Then was there a concourse throughout all the camp, for her coming was noise. This is your foremother, Judah, right? We were at war. Uh, she's going to deal with a king that observed us. She's going to deal with him, so she's going to walk through this whole military campsite, right? Watch what happened. Read that again. For her coming was noise among the tents. Everybody was saying, man, this Israelite woman coming down here. Watch it. Watch, look at this Israelite woman. Watch. And they came about her, and she stood without the, and she stood without the tent of Holofernes, uh -huh. till they told him of her. Uh -huh. And they wondered at, and they wondered at her beauty. What they do? They wondered at her beauty. Uh -huh. They was wondering at her beauty like, ooh, you see how bad them Israelite women is? And she had on a dress. That's she right. had her head covered. Right. You understand? And they was like, man, they talking. Hey, bro, did you see all that Israelite woman? They wondered at her beauty. Read. And admired the children of Israel because of her. And they was jealous of us because of our foremothers in their glory. Teacher. You understand? Watch this. And everyone said to his neighbor, who would despise this people? Well, how the hell can you be mad at them people? How the hell are you going to be mad at them Israelites? That they have among them such women. That they got the bad women living. How are you going to be mad at them? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.